Hello and welcome to our lesson on the area of a sector. A sector is a fraction of a circle between two radii and an angle. And because the area of a circle is pi r squared, the area of the sector is a fraction of the entire circle. The fraction is the angle theta out of the full circle, which has 360 degrees. So this is the formula for the area of a sector. We're going to use the formula to work out the area of this sector. We know that theta is equal to 60 degrees and the radius is equal to four centimeters. We'll substitute these two values into the formula. So the area is equal to theta, which is 60 over 360, multiplied by pi times the radius of 4 squared. Before I approximate the area as a decimal, I'm going to find that as a multiple of pi. To do this, I'm going to simplify this fraction, which is 1 6 of pi, and 4 squared is 16. 1 6 of 16 can be written as 16 pi over 6. And this can simplify to make 8 pi over 3. And that would be in centimeters squared. This is the answer as a multiple of pi. We can approximate this as a decimal as 8.4 to 1 decimal place. Okay, let's work out the area of the blue sector. So in our theta is equal to 135 degrees. The radius is equal to 6 centimetres, and we can substitute these two values into the formula. The area is equal to theta, which is 135, over 360, multiplied by pi, times the radius, which is 6 squared. And we can simplify this fraction to make 3 eighths, and 6 squared is pi, so it is 3 eighths of 36 pi. We can write this as 108 pi over 8. And this fraction will simplify to 27 pi over 2. And this would be the answer as a multiple of pi, and that is in centimeters squared. As a decimal, it would approximate to 42.4 centimeters squared to one decimal place. Okay, let's try one more question. So here we have a composite shape. Do you want to try and work out the shaded area by pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready. To begin to solve this problem, I'm going to consider it as two sectors, a larger sector, which, which I'm highlighting in red. And you can see this sector has a radius of five. And an angle of 120 degrees. And from this bigger sector, I'm going to subtract the area of the green sector. And this has a radius of 3 centimeters. Again, the angle is 120. The bigger sector, the radius is 5, and theta is equal to 120. I'm going to substitute these two values into the formula. So theta 120 divided by 360 multiplied by pi times the radius squared. This will simplify to make one third. And 5 squared is 25. So it is one third times pi times 25. So the bigger sector has an area of 25 pi over 3 centimeters squared. And the smaller sector, r is equal to 3, theta is again 120. I'll substitute these two values into the formula. So 120 over 360, multiplied by pi, multiplied by 9, which is 3 squared. This simplifies to make one third. So one third of pi times 9, one third of 9 is 3. So the area of the smaller sector is 3 pi. So the composite blue area would be 
the difference between the two. So a big sector, 25 pi over 3, minus the small sector, which is 3 pi. So the multiple of pi, the area is 16 pi over 3 centimeters squared. And as a decimal, this approximates to 16.8 centimeters squared. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.